how to pick colors from an image, or how to get hex and RGB color codes from an image. The first thing you'll need to do is open up your browser and navigate to the following URL address, which is https colon slash slash imagecolorpicker.com. Once done, you'll be taken to the Image Color Picker homepage. To pick colors from your image using this online tool, what we'll first need to do is upload our image. Navigate to the bottom right hand corner here to where it says use your image and simply left click on this button here. A small window will open giving you the ability to select your image. In the tabs above here you have a few options. The first option is to upload your image from your local device. Next you have the option to pick a color on your screen. You also have the option to paste in a website URL in here to select your image. In the next tab here, we also have the option to paste in our images URL here, which we found online. You also have the ability to scan services. So as you can see, it says scan real life services to find their original color values. So you can use this button here to get more information. The next option is to paste a clipboard here. So you can copy an image to your clipboard and come back to imagecolorpicker.com and paste it in this box here. And lastly, you have the ability to search for your image. The image search option is brought to you by Pexels. For today's video, we're going to be using the Upload Image tab here as our image is located on our computer. So what we'll need to do here is browse for our image on our computer. So all I'm going to do here is left click on this icon here. Your File Explorer window will open here, prompting you to search for your image that you would like to upload onto imagecolorpicker.com. As you can see, I'm in the Pictures tab and in the YouTube Thumbnails folder on my computer. In this folder, there's only one image and it's called how to print email messages in Gmail. And this is the image that we're going to be selecting. Simply left click on it to select it and then left click on open. Once done, your image will be uploaded onto imagecolorpicker.com. And as you can see guys, the default image that was populated in this rectangle here has now been replaced with our image. Underneath the image, you can see the color palettes of your entire image, which you can select on individually on these color palettes here to get the hex code. You also have the ability to select your color by simply left clicking on the image. So I'm just going to left click on the blue part of the Gmail icon here. And as you can see, the hex and RGB color codes will change. Let's try this again. So I'm simply going to left click on this Gmail icon here. And as as you can see it changes again and again and again and finally again. Let's do it one more time here by left clicking on this little printer icon here. Once you've picked your color from your image, to copy the hex code or RGB color code, all you'll need to do is simply left click on the copy icon here to copy it to clipboard. All you'll need to do then is paste in this color code into your image editing software to use the exact color that you picked from your uploaded image. If you want other color codes not just limited to hex and RGB, you can simply left click on show more. Once done, you'll be taken to another page. If you simply just scroll down here, you can see that the gray color from the printer icon of our uploaded image is displayed here with the hex code and the name of the gray color. Underneath, you'll be able to see more color conversion options here. You have the hex code color here, the RGB color, the CMYK, LAB, HSL, XYZ, LUV, and HWB, which you can just simply copy as you did with the hex or RGB color codes by simply left clicking on the copy to clipboard icon here. As simple as that. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes the video on how to pick colors from an image or how to get hex and RGB color codes from an image. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so